Since 2011, CVSAN has worked with Castro Valley Schools to reduce garbage by auditing campus waste. The collaborative waste audit process identifies the type of material going into the garbage that could have been recycled or composted. So there's a lot of cars that are going 65, 70, or like 74. There's like, you know, 10, 15 cars in these groups. But again, I want to look for that vehicle that's st sticking out, high rate of speed type situation. Oh. 77. Exit the freeway, exit the freeway, exit the freeway, do not stop, exit the freeway. Hi, good morning. The reason why I stopped these for your speed, you're going 77 miles an hour and 65, do you have your license registration shirt? Uh, he's a cameraman, he's filming with me today. Uh, he's working with Castro Valley uh, TV. Uh, that's that's up to him. But uh, I just stopped you for a speed, so I didn't need to see your license registration insurance, please. Well, you are in a public place, so he does have the ability to film it. Can I see your license, please? Let's deal. Let's deal with. I'm stopping you for speeding. Let's deal with the speeding, and then if you have questions, I'll be happy to answer uh, more questions. At the time, okay. But let's deal with. Let's get. Let's get your ID and then your registration insurance. All right, just go ahead and sit tight, and I'll be right back with you again. Uh, here, yeah. So we, uh, we stopped the driver here. She was uh, going 77 miles an hour on uh, 580 westbound, coming into Castro Valley uh, near the Five Canyons area. He's Castro Valley Boulevard. So uh, we got her information. When we make a traffic stop, we're looking for your license, registration, insurance. Uh, so we're going to issue a citation for exceeding the speed limit. And is that something that you see in that area a lot? Is that an area of enforcement for you? Yeah, we, we do see uh, quite a few uh, violators coming through as far as speeding. Um, and when we're up there on the freeway, we're looking for you know people that are you know going past other vehicles, passing uh, groups of cars, in and out of traffic, things like that. Um, you know, you hear that that term "going with the flow of traffic." Well, typically, you'll have the the people that are that are in a hurry. They don't want to. They don't want to obey the speed law. They're, they're usually ones that are going past the flow of traffic and and kind of disrupting other traffic. So we try to we try to minimize that, obviously, by making enforcement stops. Uh, you know, trying to trying to make sure everyone gets their destination safely. So what was your speed? 77. After turning right, pull over to the right side. Hi, good morning. 
reason why I stopped you is for your speed going to 77 and 65. Do you have your license registration insurance on you? Yeah, I'm going to go. Where are you heading to, miss? I'm going to Surgery? Okay. Everything okay? Huh? Everything okay? Do you take any medications at all today? Is this your current address? Is this your current address? Any other weapons in the car should be aware of? No. Are you on probation or parole? Um, I'm on probation. Core probation? Yeah. For what? DUI. DUI? Yeah. Do you have any alcohol in your system now? No. Uh, when's the end of your probation? Just started? Yeah. Okay. But is your license valid that you know of? Yes, it is. And are you supposed to be operating outside of the course of employment or is it yes. just okay. right. nothing in the bag right there? Uh, no, that's okay. not in the bag. Are you on searchable probation? No. No? Okay. Alright. Just sit tight. I'll be right back with you, okay? We're just gonna take this for our safety. So we stopped her for, for speeding up on the freeway. Um, we're gonna check, make sure her license is valid. She stated that she may be on probation. We'll also check that and see what the status is. So um, we stopped her for uh, exceeding the speed limit um, up on 580. Um, when I walked up to the car, um, she's really cooperative, but she, when she opened the glove box, uh, I saw that it looked like something that would actually look like a handgun and I kind of step back and put my hand on my gun because it looked like a, a handgun. Um, but after I looked at it a little bit more closer, I could see their little barbs up front, look like a taser. Um, uh, looks like a civilian model for a taser, so uh, I don't think it's a serious issue here. Um, but we did ask permission to get it out of the car. She's cool with it, which is nice. Makes my job safer and easier. Um, so I'm gonna hang on to it while I have my enforcement contact with her, and then I'll give it back to her and uh, send her on her way. I appreciate your cooperation. Here's your information back. Everything looks good on your license. I, I appreciate you pulling over and all that. Um, I did sign you for, uh, signed you for speeding on 77 to 65. By signing you're not admitting guilt, you're promising you to take care of the matter on it before 60 days in Fremont Superior Court. Uh, I'm sorry, it changed to Pleasanton. So if it goes to Fremont, it should be a Pleasanton. Um, but it, I wrote Pleasanton, yeah, I wrote Pleasanton down here, but uh, they're, they're in the process of changing the traffic division over. Uh, from Fremont to Pleasanton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Back to Pleasanton. Okay. So um, again, you're not admitting guilt. She promised you to take care of it, and they should send you a courtesy notice in about two weeks or so. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in. It's legal. It's legal. Yeah. But when you when you opened the glove box, you gave me a little bit of a jump because it looked like a gun. So oh. I couldn't see the metal uh, barbs initially at the front. Well, it's a nice little device to have, I mean, especially if you're out by yourself. And... Well, let's hope you never have to use it, that's right, yeah. So, uh, Officer uh, Albert from the San Angel Police Department happened to notice me uh, start an enforcement stop in the vehicle we just pulled over, so I thought it was pretty cool. He, he came with me, made the stop, and uh, provided some cover, so it's really nice to see that. Uh, I'm working on the freeway, or just in the unincorporated area, you know, we have a great um, uh, respect for our allied agencies and we really appreciate every time, you know, they, they, they back us up. But it just shows that we're a very tight, uh, tight group in law enforcement and uh, we're there for each other. We get a lot of complaints for uh, vehicles not yielding to pedestrians, um, running the stop sign, things like that. So we're just going to keep our eyes open for any vehicles that are rolling stop signs or Maybe if they're not wearing their seatbelt, talking on their phone, those are all things that can um, really get you injured or a pedestrian injured, so keep our eyes out for that. Yeah.
you're not wearing your seatbelt. Yeah, I just realized that. Okay, do you have your license on you? Yeah, I do. Can I see that, please? Do you have your ID card on you? My ID? Yeah. Uh, or your license. Young man, do you have your ID card on you? We were just talking about uh, people not wearing their seatbelts, how it's very dangerous. Thank you, sir. Is this your current address? Yeah. And how old are you? Uh, 18. 18? Is this your current address, ma'am? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're how old? 18. 18, okay. Do you have the registration insurance for the car? over so I don't know what it looks like. No problem. The registration is typically like a, like a square like this? card. Oh, no, yeah, let's mine. take a look at that. Oh yeah it is. That works, yep. And then do you know what your insurance company has? Okay, State Farm, perfect. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, just sit tight, I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Close the door for you. So we're gonna issue um, two citations. So we're gonna give the driver a citation for not wearing her seatbelt. And then uh, the passenger as well, she stated that she was aware, or she just was aware all of a sudden when she saw me, but um, two young adults, and they'd hate to see them get in an accident, not wearing their seatbelt, get seriously injured. So we're gonna take some enforcement action right now. So I'm issuing a citation today for not wearing your seatbelt. Here's all your IDs back. Here's your information back. So Ms. by signing you're not admitting guilt, you're just promising to take care of the matter on before 60 days for Fremont Superior Court. Your address and phone number is on the bottom. She's sending notice in the mail. Okay. About two to three weeks, okay? Sorry. And then do me a favor. When you're done with that one, just fold it up and then I'm going to see you a citation for the passenger vehicle. I want to see that. No, just, just the phone. I have to sign there for me. By signing, you're not admitting guilt. Just promise to take care of the matter, okay? Okay, yeah, thank you. I'm going to get out for you. Just a type for a second. Since 2011, CVSAN has worked with Castro Valley Schools to reduce garbage by auditing campus waste. The collaborative waste audit process identifies the type of material going into the garbage that could have been recycled or composted.